Now that my server is up and running, I want to restore files to the system. Now with the previous version of Windows Server codename Veil, vale, I had backups running twice a day. I'm now going to restore one of those backups to Windows Home Server 2011. Let's get started. I'll click on Computers and Backups. I'm going to right mouse click on the Veil vale server. Your server name will have a different name, of course, but you can click on that. And I'm going to click on Restore Files or Folders for the Server. Also on the right-hand side, you can do the same thing. It just depends on your preference. It's now going to retrieve the wizard. Within the wizard, I'll click on Next. It's going to ask the location of the backup that I want to do. It's at a different location. It's going to give you a list of the backup disks that you have. I just have the one currently right now, so I'm going to use the free agent. And it's to the Veil server. Click on Next. It's now going to retrieve the backup information. Now, it'll either retrieve the most recent backup or one that I select. Now, I went through and did one this morning, so I'm going to click on Select. And now it actually gives me, by day, each of the ones that I did a backup on. So I'm going to click on 7.48 a.m., which is when I backed it up this morning manually. I'll click on Next. Now it's going to ask what you want to restore. Now, if you want to do a full restore, that's okay with future backups. Now this backup that I'm using is from the Windows Server codename Veil, vale, which is the different version. You would only do a, ref, uh, a full drive restore if you had problems and you needed to get back to it. Again, I'm using the previous backups from the previous version, not the release candidate. So I'm just going to restore files and folders. I'll click on that. It'll take a moment and it'll actually bring up the drives that are, re that are in the restore area of this backup drive. Now I have recorded TV, videos, documents, music. These would look familiar because these were from the previous version of Windows Server codename Veil. Vale. But they are backed up. So I'm going to take videos. I'm going to single click on that. It'll show up over here. Now, notice it was modified on 115. That was the last time it was modified, but that doesn't mean that it was the last time it was backed up. I will now click on Next. It's going to say, where do I want to restore the files to? Now, the original location isn't available because that backup, again, was from the previous version. So I'm going to choose Browse, and I'm going to put where I want to put it. Now, usually you would see it being restored to a shared folder, and then you would find your folders here. But that's not the way the new Windows Home Server 2011 release candidate works. You actually have to find the location of the folder based on the volume ID. So I know that I just put my videos under... D, so I'm going to click on the expand server folders, and then there's my video. So I'm going to restore the videos from this morning at 748 from Windows Server codename Veil vale to Windows Home Server 2011 in the same folder. And I'll click on OK. Now it's going to ask if you want to create a copy if there are different versions or replace the existing items with the restore versions. And I'm going to click on replace the existing items. I don't want to keep anything. Uh, in the new version if there's anything even available. I'll click on Next. And now when it's ready, it will now restore to D colon server folders slash videos. I'll click on Restore Now. And now it'll go through and start the restore. The restore ended up taking about two and a half hours because it was 300 gigabytes of data and it was a USB 2 drive. 